Morning guys, just come off a Skype call with um, an old friend of mine, good friend of mine who um, is helping me with um, another project that I'm working on and it's, uh, it was an eye opener, an eye opener to say the least of the amount of um, work that's involved. But as ET says, I've been listening to Eric Thomas a lot again recently, and um, you need to live that 120 lifestyle. And so you're given 120. It's the only time you'll meet others at 120, and you'll really excel. So, yeah, trying to live that 120 lifestyle. But right now, I'm just <coughs> having quite a mixed up post uh, pre workout meal. But I'm really stressed today. I'm really stressed, like, um, you know, I'm working on a few things and certain things aren't going as I wanted and a few setbacks here and there and it can get frustrating, it can get very frustrating but I guess it's just, <clears throat> excuse me, a thing of um, just pushing through, pushing through, believing in what, in what you're looking to achieve and, um, just going for it, if you get what I mean. So right now I'm just, I'm gonna go and see my parents. Naisha's gone with her mum to Ikea. I'm gonna go and see my parents and I'm gonna try and release some stress, go to the gym. Today's meant to be my day off actually. But I'm gonna go and do um, maybe calves and rear delts, I don't know, something not too taxing on the central nervous system, just something small. So um, I put together this makeshift meal, which is just leftovers. <laughs> um, so the chicken from my previous video, um, Naisha made meatballs yesterday and just got some packet rice and then got my water. Yeah. You know, the, life isn't all fun and games, Ooh, happy times, happy times, there are going to be stressful times, but best thing to do during the stressful times is to keep this going, keep smiling. The more you smile, the more you're happy, the more you enjoy the process, whether it's up or down, um, the better person, the better character you'll build. Fucking rouse.
going on guys currently on my way home I went and saw my um, my family and my sister my dad sister and my dad were the only ones that were in which is cool I'm just talking ideas and you know moving forward and stuff but um, yeah it kind of it struck up a question which I was like it is it's so so true and that's that's where the title for the video came from is what would I do without the gym I really I really don't know the, the gym really it sounds like <laughs> cheesy to an extent um, bit corny and stuff but the gym stopped me from doing a lot of foolishness um, I was big into kind of graffiti. I never actually um, went to go and do it on walls and stuff, but because I loved art, um, I was always doing like a lot of graffiti style stuff within my pads and it got to the point where I probably would have taken it to to the streets. Um, you know, I had, I was, I had a very bad temper. Um, I did get into a few fights at uni, <laughs> but, yeah the gym just kind of like once it changed my focus especially when i started playing american football and my workout focus was a lot more clear it really it really helped me with kind of correcting myself and now when i'm like stressed or you know, just need time to clear my head or I just need to release some anger or, or whatever it is. It's always, my first pro, my first call is always the gym. Always, like, the gym is how I clear my head. The, clear, the gym is how I, just, I'm not sure if you get what I mean, but just, you know, keep myself sane. Um, and if I didn't have the gym, I, I, I don't know, I think I'd probably go crazy. And the best thing about it is that Naisha also understands it. Um, which is why we're really trying to figure out what we'll do uh, once the baby comes to make sure that the gym is still a large part of our um, lives. <coughs> yeah, so... Today was just a calf and calf and rear delt workout with a little bit of biceps. Um, but it would, there was there was no real structure to it. Um, I worked within like the eight to ten rep range, and but it was just literally to just get things done and to clear my head. <laughs> so if you ask me why I was doing certain things, there was no reason really behind it. It was just I needed to clear my head. <clears throat> So yeah, that kind of brought me to this next point. Is that I want to hear your stories. Like everyone's got a story of, you know, everyone goes to the gym and they all have the same, the same end goal, which is to create a better version of yourself. Whether that's aesthetically, whether that's, you know, just general fitness, but everyone has the very similar goal. But the reasons why everyone starts and the reason why everyone continues are always very different. So I'll, I, I really, really want to hear um, the stories for you guys and why you started training, why you've continued training. And if you could put it in video form, I would love it even better. So anyone, I'll, I'm going to put my email address um, on the screen and in the description box. When I'm transferring videos, I normally use a, a site called We Transfer, which I'll put the link in the description as well. Send me a, a video. I don't mind how long it is. Um, relatively short, so I can fit a couple in the video. But I want to hear your story on why you started the gym. And I'll feature it on this channel and let other people know. And it, it, it will show that there's there will be very similar um, reasons, but will also show that there are very different reasons. Some might be a bit, you know, vanity related. Some might be 
the gym saved my life. So, yeah, I want to hear your stories. Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. I never fronted, I got my whole cool life.